Hello everybody, Jeff Johnson here for Clerk TV, and I have the privilege of being with Jacqueline Wills, who is the Clerk of Superior Court in Clayton County. How are you? I'm blessed and highly favored. You know what? I'm glad you are, because <laughs> I'll tell you what, your countenance, your smile, it's just lighting up Clerk TV today. Well, thank you, <laughs> thank welcome. you. Let's, let's tell all of our viewers, where is Clayton County in the scope of Georgia? Well, actually though, Clayton County is where the airport is located. Okay. Is. Yeah, so we're about 15 minutes away from Fulton County mm -hmm. from that area, so mm -hmm. we're part of the metro. Definitely part yeah. of it. Now, how many, you know how many residents you have in, how many residents do you serve as clerk? Uh, 259,424. All right. You got it right. <laughs> and a new one coming in every day. <laughs> yes, yes, growing. I Definitely know that's growing. right. It is a growing Yes, county. yes. You know, You've been clerk for how long now? Oh, uh, since 2011. What's it like to serve a county that size, or a you know a uh, a, ba a customer base or a citizen base that size? It's really it's a blessing. I mean, I'm honored. It's and it's a pleasure to serve the citizens of Clayton County. I mean, I love what I do. Mm -hmm. um, I love dealing with people, so I'm really enjoying it. Well, let me ask you this about your 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 staff and everybody else that comes down. How many people do you have on staff? 37. 37 people? Yes. I'm telling you. Not what. enough. <laughs> but you can <laughs> <need> more? <laughs> yes, definitely, <laughs> so definitely. We, all you folks out there in Clayton <laughs> County that are watching you, commissioners or whatever, we need more folks. Yes. <laughs> what, is, are things just burgeoning down there? Are there? I mean, building and record keeping and, you know, how are y'all keeping up with the demand? Um, by using technology. We Talk about to. that a little bit. Uh, actually, since I've been clerk of court, I have really, uh, you know, I, I'm not I'm not going to get any new people anytime soon. Sure. So I have to look at other ways mm -hmm. of making everything works for you know work for me. Sure. So uh, I use technology in the jury department. I only have one person oh, that is goodness. handling all the jurors. Wow, and that's on an average job. week, I can have anywhere from 150 to over 200 citizens report every week and you got one person handling all that because i've been yes. on you know called up for jury duty yes it's a chore yes it is yes it is i had to completely automate that system so now when a juror reports on monday morning for jury duty at the time they check in we know at that point whether or not they returned a completed questionnaire if not we send them to a computer all they do is complete their questionnaire and hit submit, and now it's live in our system. So whereas before, we would have to hand them a paper questionnaire, mm -hmm. let them complete it, they bring it back to us, and we would have to input it. On an average week, we had 60 or more questionnaires My that we would gosh. have to input on Monday morning, you know, trying to get that in the system before a judge called for jurors. So that is no longer taking place. So it is wonderful. It sounds like through this technology that you are really trying to make sure that you're serving your customers. Yes. What is your major mission in serving the citizens of Clayton County? Well, I just want to give them what they should have. I want to uh, have, you know, when they come in, I want them to have an enjoyable experience. I want us to be, you know, efficient. Exactly. It, it, I just want them to know that we're doing everything that we can to do whatever we need to for them you know, with the staff that we mm -hmm. have, and plus giving them good customer service. Because you know, and, and, like, and that good customer service is something, because you know, when you go, a lot of times when people come down to the courthouse, mm -hmm. it's not under necessarily oh. the most uh, oh, uh, a lot of time. friendly and fun <laughs> type situations. Oh yes, even with, with jury service, it's not, it's not, you know, a lot of them, they have never done it before, mm -hmm. so they just don't know what to expect. And they come in and you just have to, you know, be nice to them, and once they see what it's all about, uh -huh. and they get the experience to go to the courtroom and all, and then they have different attitudes. So it's just the way that you approach people, you know, and, and it, it usually turned out to be a good experience. Oh my gosh, I can imagine. So your staff training. It, yes. I mean, because you can't do it all by yourself. No. You know, there are some counties no. in Georgia where it's a much smaller oh, yes. situation. 
how do you, I mean, you got to rely on your staff. Yes. What kind of training and things are they doing? Hands go? on. <laughs> when a person is hired and I was, uh, you know, to work for me, Yes. from day one, we do hands on. That's the Explain best Explain that experience. a little bit when you say hands on. We put them, like whatever job they're going to be performing, mm -hmm. we put them directly in that situation at that point, mm -hmm. and we have a supervisor to sit with them, and they help assist the customers as they come in, and they get to learn. That's the best way to do it. Wow. You get the most out of it. I think a lot of my staff, they realize that once, if they do hands-on training, they're going to it's gonna, they're gonna retain it better. That's better than reading a book, sitting mm -hmm. in a corner somewhere reading a book. Sure. So. When you were first, when you first were elected, what have you, what is the difference that you've seen since that day and now? Oh, what's the difference? Yeah, I mean, changes that you've made, changes, uh, things that you've been able to do. What, what are some of the, the, the major things that have benefited the citizens of Clayton County? Well, to me, the biggest thing is being able to hand a juror their jury check once they complete their service. That is something that has been in the work for years mm -hmm. that, you know, trying to get to that point. Because that check comes a little... Right, <laughs> because usually it takes about three weeks or yeah. longer yes. uh, to in order for a juror to receive a check mm -hmm. in the mail. And, you know, I just kept telling you this, it's not fair to the citizens. They, a lot of people, you don't know what their lifestyles are. You don't know what they're going through in life. That's true. They, they have to serve jury duty. I understand that. Mm -hmm. So at least when they leave, they, at least we can hand them a check for their service, so. And you know what, I gotta admit, it feels good when you get handed a check yes. right when you're yes. done. And yes. you're not sitting there waiting and, and doing whatever. Right, right. And it, it also, it, 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 it was some people that is going through hard times in life, just by them knowing that they're gonna leave with a check. You don't know, they may have to pay somebody mm -hmm. to drop them off every day for jury service. You don't know yeah. what that person is going through. So at least they have money to pay somebody to bring them back and forth. They don't have to wait three, four weeks later. It wow. makes a major difference. Well, I tell you, that is a great implementation of a program. And for people in your county who already know that, they're kind of go, well, you know, maybe you know, I can go to jury duty. I'm going to get paid right. and I'll be, be, right. be done right. with that. A different attitude. It is a different attitude. Right. Let, let me ask you something that we're going to get into some facts that people don't really know about. <laughs> what, uh, what are some of the hobbies? What are some of the things that you, that oh Jacqueline, God. loves to do that makes you happy? I love to work out. Do you really? Yes. I go to the gym almost every day. As a matter of fact, this week I will become a certified Zumba instructor. Watch out now. <laughs> You're going to come train me. Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. <laughs> uh, I play on the kickball league. I love kickball. Uh, right now I'm kind of recovering. I broke my finger. Play kickball? Kick yes. Oh I, my God. I, I caught imagine. the ball. I did keep it in my hand. I did catch it. But and broke your finger, broke at, the same finger time. at the same not time. Not only yes, is she smart, yes. not only is she a great <laughs> leader, she is tough too, so don't even mess with her. <laughs> and I love to line dance. Wow. Now, you were born and raised where? In Selma, Alabama. No kidding. So you've been living in Georgia for how long? Uh, about 28 years. Uh, I got married, moved to Alaska. I Whoa. lived in Alaska for about four years. Okay. And we was gonna make it home because we fell in love with it. But at the last minute, me and my husband looked at each other and said, "Maybe we should move a little closer to mom and dad, you know, <laughs> yeah. just in case." Yeah, Alaska's a little yeah, little ways yeah, away from mom yeah, and dad. yeah. And so we came to Atlanta with some friends. That and so I've been living here for about 28 years. What drew you to Clayton County? Uh, our friends that we traveled with from when we got the military, mm -hmm. they moved to Clayton County, and because we did not know the area, of course, we moved in the area. They didn't. Have, this is the only place that I have lived in Georgia in Clayton wow. County. Well, Clayton County is a great county. Yes, I um, love Clayton County. You know, the the people that I have met down there, the, uh, and and you know, I did a lot of stuff down the schools and different mm -hmm. things like that. It is a county that is still growing. Oh yeah, and has a lot of potential. Oh yes. It, oh it, yes. It, it, it really does. Yes. You know, what I want you to do right now is just take a few minutes, a couple of seconds, and look right in that camera. This is your constituency, your citizens, and tell them thank you. I mean, tell them anything you'd like to say. Well, I would like to thank the citizens of Clayton County for allowing me and giving me the opportunity to, become, to be the clerk of Superior Court. I really enjoy it. I give it my all. Um, if there is anything I can ever do for you, Please do not hesitate. My office is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
please feel free to come in. Fantastic. Thank you so much thank for taking you the so time much. to be here with us. <laughs> I appreciate and thank it. you guys for watching us right here on Clerk TV. <laughs> Thank <music> you.